YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4GSM models only, iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation, as well as the 1st generation iPad. Now this does not work on the iPad 2 because both the Shatter and Lime Rain exploits were patched on the iPad 2, and Ionix exploit doesn't cover the iPad 2. And again, this is the jailbreak for 4.3.1, and it is untethered, which means you can turn it off and reboot it without having to plug it in and run something like iBooty to actually boot into that tethered state. So this is Windows only. If you guys want to see a Mac version of this, which would be Pwnage Tool, just remember to check out the link that's down below in the more info. And you guys can do pretty much the same exact thing that I am doing now. And again, that is for a tutorial for it. And the only reason why someone would want to use something like Snowbreeze or Pwnage Tool is if they actually wanted to preserve their iPhone baseband so then they could unlock, or if they just wanted to start fresh and do a clean restore. So that being said, I will also have a link down below in the more info for a Red Snow tutorial because Red Snow is much easier, it's a lot faster, and it's just more user friendly. So again, this is Windows only, and I am actually on a Mac, but I have Windows running in a virtual machine right here. So I do have Windows 7, as you can see, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it. What you're going to do is follow the link that's down below in the more info. We'll have all the written instructions as well as the download links there. And and uh, once you have Snowbreeze downloaded and on your desktop, what you're going to do is uh, just right click it and go to properties and make sure that the compatibility is set to run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2 and also check off run this program as an administrator and hit apply and OK. And again, you only have to do that if you are on Windows 7 or Windows Vista. Once that is done, you can simply double click on it to open it up and and just hit yes once it asks you if you're sure you want to open it. Now when you get to this screen just hit OK and then hit close credits. Now once you're here just hit the blue next arrow and if you do not already have your firmware downloaded you can just click right here where it says IPSWs can be downloaded by clicking here and it will automatically open up the default website that pretty much everybody uses to download firmwares for their device and I use this website and I recommend using this website. So in order to use it just uh, click on the bar right here and you can select your device and again we want to do this for 4.3. 3.1. So if I'm on the iPod Touch third generation, I would just use this link right here and I would click download. So again, once you have your firmware downloaded, just make sure to press browse and find the firmware. This is the one that I want right here because this is the stock firmware. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit open. And then it will go ahead and identify the IPSW. And once it has finished, it will automatically detect your iDevice and it'll put it right there so you know that you do have the right firmware for your device. And then hit continue. And from there, we want to do expert mode. Now we really do want to do expert mode because it does give you more options and it lets you customize your firmware even more. Now also keep in mind that every single one of these modes preserves your baseband. The only reason why you'd want to do baseband preservation mode is if you actually just wanted to simply update your iPhone firmware and not jailbreak it. So that was just intended for people who actually wanted to kind of test out the newer firmware. But once that is done, you can go ahead and just hit next, and then you get some options here. I'm going to start at the beginning. So right here for springboard modifications, we get the option to enable gestures menu, which are multitasking gestures. And I'm sure as most of you know, all you do is take four or five fingers and pinch in on the screen, and it takes you to the home screen. You can swipe up with four or five fingers, it brings up the dock, and you can swipe over with four or five fingers, and it switches between your open applications, etc. You can also activate the phone or hack if you are not on an official carrier and again this would be used so that you can actually use your iDevice and so you can use your unlock and you can also have install SSH checked and you can also mess around with the root partition size however I highly uh, recommend you just leave it alone unless you actually know what you're doing once you have everything set you can hit next and here basically you can actually go ahead and add different sources and you can download different packages from those sources and this would be used so that you actually have those familiar jailbreak applications built into your firmware so that when you restore it's automatically on your device. 
Once you have all that set, you can just hit next and then build IPSW and simply hit next and then it will just build it. So I'm actually gonna click cancel because I already have mine built. So uh, it is canceling right now. And again, mine is right here. It says iPhone 4 Snowbreeze custom firmware. And then what you're going to do is just plug in your iPhone, iPad or iPod touch and you're simply going to enter DFU mode. Now again, I do have a link down below in the more info and that link tells you exactly how to enter DFU mode. But I'm just gonna tell you how to do it right now really quick. You wanna hold down the home and power button for a total of 10 seconds and do not let go. Uh, but once that 10 seconds is up, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly 20 seconds and it should enter DFU mode. Now once DFU mode has been entered successfully, iTunes will pop up if it's already open and if it's not open, you can go ahead and open it up at this point and it says iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before you, it can be used with iTunes. So I'm just gonna hit okay. And then what you wanna do is hold down shift and click restore so that way you can browse for that custom firmware and again, mine is right here on my desktop and then just hit open and then it says iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone and verify the restore with Apple and then you just hit restore and it will continue on with the restore. Now I'm just going to actually cancel the restore because I don't want my device restored because I'm actually happy with my iPhone which is jailbroken with red snow at the moment. So I also wanted to say that if you get a 1015 or a 1013 error towards the end, it can be anywhere from uh, two thirds done all the way up until like about 90% done. So if you get an error just anywhere towards uh, the end of your restore, it is actually finished and it is just stuck in the recovery mode loop. And to exit that, you can go ahead and just download Tiny Umbrella. And again, once you follow that link that's down below in the more info, you can access Tiny Umbrella. And once you have Tiny Umbrella open, then you can kick your iDevice out of recovery mode and you will be good to go. So I hope you guys like this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments section below. And also be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. Until next time, this is ICU signing out.